What is going on, everybody? Giraffe Anatomy here, coming at you with another Smite Quick God Guide. Today's guide is going to be for Arachne the Weaver. So uh, what we're going to do today is basically just get into a very high level overview of Arachne, how her abilities work, how you can kind of utilize them in a combo, um, explain her role, some items that you would build on her. Hopefully, by the end of this video, what will happen is you'll be able to take Arachne into a arena joust conquest uh, match and just be able to utilize her a little bit better um, and start learning how to play her. So without further ado, I'm going to get into a jungle practice here. We're going to choose Arachne. We'll go with the default skin here just to show you guys everything. Um, and yeah, we'll get into it. Um, so Arachne is a assassin in smite, which means she is a short range physical uh, damage dealing god. Um, as you can see, I've played a decent amount of her. I have one star. Um, so I've used her in jungle a lot. <laughs> and uh, I've actually used her in other roles and stuff as well. So she can actually flex pretty well into some other roles, um, especially if you're playing like Slash or Arena. You can actually build her a little bit tankier um, and utilize her kit and her spiders and uh, some of her attributes um, to be a little bit of a like a menace, um, like a not really a CC monster, I would say, but definitely a... Uh, you're able to slow people, you're able to pester them a lot with Arachne, and if you build her a little tankier, sometimes she's surprisingly um, hard to kill. Uh, but her main role is normally jungle. She's played in the jungle in Conquest, um, and she is basically just left click a Palooza as much as you can get, right? Uh, we'll go into that here in a bit. What I'll do is I'll level everything uh, to 20. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over her passive first, and then we'll get into her ability. So we'll start with her passive. So Arachne's passive is Predator. Arachne's basic attacks gain 1.25% physical damage for every 5% of a target's missing health. Um, so basically what that means is if it, the lower a target gets, the more damage Arachne is doing to them with her basic attacks. Um, so you're able to finish off enemies with your basic attacks. Um, and holding left click pretty easily you're able to hunt down people um, and as the fight goes on uh, you get stronger and stronger basically right um, so it's a pretty simple passive let me also just grab some relics here so I stop getting that message um, and yeah uh, we'll go into her one just because her uh, you know her pass is pretty self-explanatory she's just gaining basic attack um, damage uh, for every 5% of a target's missing health, right? Um, so here, let's get into her one Venomous Bite. Upon activation, Arachne's next basic attack within 5 seconds does additional damage and infects the target with Venom, dealing damage over time and healing Arachne every 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds. So you get initial damage, and you also get a damage per tick for the Venom as well. You also get healing per tick, so this is great for Arachne for sustaining in the jungle, um, for team fighting all those abilities you're basically popping your one anytime you're coming up to somebody and attacking them right you can see the venom there he's getting those little extra ticks uh you you saw on the right hand side there um so when i pop my one again you'll just see all right 119 plus the 33 33 33 33 right so you'll see that first initial da uh initial damage number and then you'll see the ticks afterwards when you activate her one one more time see that big initial number is like a 116 there then you see all the little 33s the 33s are the tick the uh initial one is the initial damage right um so pretty self-explanatory you use it when clearing camps to heal yourself you use it in team fights for some sustain um lifesteal items go pretty well with arachne because of this one uh you can help utilize it a little bit better with those um so basically building things like um serrated edge um, because it has 10% physical life steal. I've seen people build things like Blood Forge on her before, Atalanta's bow. Uh, normally with like a Serrated Edge and an Atalanta's bow, you're pretty solid uh, with like some life steal, right? You have like 20% life steal plus this um, and stuff like that. So you're able to sustain through some fights just with those two simple items there. Um, so let's get into her two. Arachne's 2 is called Cocoon. Uh, Arachne spindles her webbing, and her next three successful basic attacks are executed with increased attack speed for six seconds. If all three basic attacks hit the same target, 
that target is stunned. So you do get an attack speed buff. So I'll show you really quick. It goes to 2.1 while she's doing this, right? While she has her cocoon up. Um, and then the thing is all three basic attacks need to hit the same target for that target to get stunned. I'll show you what that looks like on Odin. Right? This is what it looks like when they get stunned with your uh, two. Now, the problem is trying to only do it to one target when you're in the middle of a team fight or in lane with minions. You can very easily, uh, if you start this off and you do one, two, and then three, you're not going to get any stun on anybody. It needs to all be on the same target. And that could be hard because minions will get in your way. Buff camps will get in your way. It's just something you got to watch out for because it's easy to target like multiple minions when you're like running around so if i just press my two see like different minions go like even the minion didn't get wrapped because it was just a different target um so if you switch targets it's a very hard uh, minions will get in the way all the time with this kind of stuff um let's do this see if you do it to all three of the same minion it will wrap them up but if you switch to any other target any other minion it's very hard to get that rep off. So just be careful using this ability um, when it's like super crowded, when there's multiple gods diving you or attacking you. You really um, kind of use it when you have a clear 1v1 situation. When you're attacking, you basically pop your one with your two. Um, like I said, she's the left click god and you're basically mashing one, two, and three as you're attacking them um, when you're using her. So let's let's talk about her three real quick. This is Arachne's most versatile ability. Um, and I think it's like one of her most unique ones um, and one of the more unique ones in Smite that you can utilize, especially in Conquest. Um, so let's go over it. It's called Web. Arachne shoots a line of web forward. She is immune to slows and moves faster on the web. If the web reaches a max range, a web trap will spawn. Enemy gods who walk through the trap or get hit by the projectile are slowed by 15%. Revealed to Arachne, leave a trail of webbing behind them and are attacked by the little pet broodlings. Uh, Arachne can only have three web traps or projectiles active at a time. All right, it's a lot of info. What does it all mean? So with Arachne, this is what her three looks like. Um, and when you use it and it goes the max distance, it puts up a web. If an enemy walks through this at all, these broodlings, these two little spiders, will then latch to them, start attacking them, and leave a trail of webs behind them. I will show what that looks like to Odin really quickly. I'll wait for him to walk away so you can see what it looks like when somebody runs into it. So see how he's like leaving the trail behind him and they're attacking him? And when Arachne's on this web, she is way, 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 way faster. Right, You can see 550 is her movement speed when she's on it, 443 when she's not. So this webbing here gives um, awesome chase down ability for Rackney. This is why she's so good uh, to be like 1v1. You're able to web somebody, and you can do this anytime. So you can set it up so that they walk into it prior, or right before a team fight, right point blank, you can do it straight to them. And look, you're able to attack them with your little broodlings that are doing all that little extra damage. See all those little 48, 48, 48s? That's your broodlings, man. They're just munching at his booty, you know? <laughs> so what you want to do as a Rachne, normally your first thing you do when you engage somebody is you throw this down because um, it's a pretty good duration, right, uh, when you put this on them, right? So if you're able to put this on them, you're able to get close and you're able to use your one and two and just keep holding down left click, right? It's it's literally like that simple. Um, Arachne's kit really is... It, it's basic. You can get a little bit complex with the webs if you want to leave them in certain spots in jungles or try and steal buff camps and cut off like uh, certain pathing through the jungle uh, for some enemies. But really, it's, it's pretty simplistic. You're basically coming up to somebody and almost always when you start engaging with them or to start and engage... Like, you'll keep your distance, but you'll try and hit them with your three real quick. And if you do, okay, now it's time to attack. And you're going to go in, just hold left click, right? And you're popping your two and your one when you do that, too, right? So you're throwing your three, you're popping two and one. All three abilities are down at once. And this will synergize with an item that we're going to talk about here. But this is your basics, right? So you can keep your distance for a while until you hit them with a web. Once you do and you know you got it, 
follow your webbing because it's the fastest pathing and you're uh, immune to the slows on it and everything like that. Um, so you're really able to chase people down. Um, it'll slow them for six seconds. They're going to try and run away, but they really can't. You're increased uh, when it comes to your movement speed. You'll be able to hunt them down, um, use your one and two, and just auto attack them to death. Um, real quick, let's talk about Nightcrawler before we get into um, her uh, like uh, her synergy with some items and things like that. So Nightcrawler, this is Arachne's ultimate. Arachne flips up to her infinite web, hanging upside down above the lane and increasing her movement speed. She may leap off the web to deal damage to all enemies in the target and create a large web around the target area. The web area provides the same slow to enemies and benefits as her web trail, which we just talked about, right? So really quick, let me show you what this looks like when Arachne alts. Basically, she's CC immune, she's upside down, and she's just running around. And you have uh, the time until this circle comes down to come down. And if somebody comes down inside this web area, they get that slow. Now, it doesn't last too long, but, um, you know, it is there for, like, if you're engaging in a team fight or um, something like that, it could be a great utility because all of the enemies get slowed by that, um, and it enables your team to follow up and do damage and, and do all that stuff, right? So some things you can do uh, with her ultimate is engage with it. You can also use it to escape. She is CC immune when she uses it, and when she's up there, she's immune to damage, so you really can't hit her or anything like that. Um, so it's a really great escape tool as well. More often than not, you're going to use Arachne, um, her 3, 2, 1 combo more than anything else. You're going to do this, and then maybe if they leap away or they're running away, you can use their ultimate to chase them down. She does get an increased movement speed, and then you'll land on them again and finish them off. Um, but more often than not, you can save your ultimate to disengage from fights after you've already gone in and maybe killed somebody. So say there's a lot of fighting going on and you just want to pick one target off. What you can do is you can utilize Blink, right? You can get in there, three, two, one, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Squishy, up oh, they're dead. Now everyone's jumping on you. Well, guess what? You just ulted out. You run back to safety, back to your teammates. You can go over walls with this too, right? So you can put a lot of distance between you and an enemy after you've gone in for a kill. It's normally how you want to do it. You want to save your alt for a disengage. Maybe it's a disengage and then your teammate jumps in because they've chased you a little too far. And then you can re-engage once your whole team's back in there, right? You can kind of utilize in that way. Um, don't get me wrong. You can use your alt to either engage um, or you can use it to um, like chase somebody down and finish off a kill. Um, but I do like to save my alt for those key moments, right? If you can do enough with it, like just a 3-2-1... And then they run away and they're getting help or whatever. And then all this stuff happens, but they're still at like next to no health. And you're like, okay, they're actually around this corner. Uh, let me go alt them real quick. You can alt, alt over a wall or an obstacle, go chase them down and kill them. Then do it. Right. Um, so that's really how you utilize our kit. This one's a short and sweet one, right? Arachne is not uh, very complex when it comes to her kit. It's pretty simple. You got some slows in your Nightcrawler and your web that you utilize. You normally, like I said before anything else, engage with your three first if you can. Um, it's even better if you can stack it with another three that you have. If you can get them to like maybe run into a web and then they run into that and then you throw another one on, you can do that. So now they have two sets of broodlings on them, um, which I don't know if I can get it going that fast I, I don't think i can not with this odin um but yeah but i can actually show you real quick um you can do something like this and one thing to note about her three which I'll, I'll talk about really quick is you can place up to three at a time anywhere on the map so that's two um so you can do something like set two somewhere start poking at an enemy and get them to like run into this so you can do this you're running away they have to follow you through the web you can throw a third one on them they're not gonna catch you like they have to deal with all that shit all those little things eating the crap out of their booty look at those things go man <laughs> look at them go they're so cute um so yeah so basically you're able to like maybe preset a trap um to bait an enemy into it so you can place them somewhere go to engage, um, like hide them around a corner, go to engage, they're chasing you. They go through like those two sets of spiders or even three, you can set all three, but you can do two and then like a third one, 
Um, you can use Arachne's three for a disengage as well. So if somebody is chasing you, um, you can basically gain a lot of distance just by um, throwing it at them. So if you're starting to fight somebody and they're starting to kick the crap out of you, right? And you're like, okay, this fight's not going to go well. Throw your three on them. You run away. They're, they're slowed by the, that thing. Uh, you can normally get some distance. Hopefully you can use, by then, when you're disengaged, you get your blink up. You can blink away. Uh, maybe your alts up. If you really need it, you can then use it and things like that. Um, so, yeah. The other thing you can do with this is you can steal buff camps with it. Um, I will show you buff camps. So really quick. Before buffs spawn, you can actually place multiple spiders at a buff camp. Um, so let me go get some cool down here. So if you place multiple spiders at a buff camp, you can do it prior. So in conquest this is actually a really great starting strategy. Sometimes you can invade an enemy's buff with it. Uh, if you have enough time, you can get to like a purple buff, um, like a, a XP camp or something like that. That's on their side, throw them over there and then, uh, run back to yours and get there in time. But more often than not, you're using this to like start the game off really well. You can put three spiders at your own camps, so you can hit level two faster, get into lane, get an early gank, something like that. But uh, if a camp comes up, and these guys are here, they will automatically start attacking the buffs themselves. Look at them go, man. And they clear that fast. Well, they'll go through the second buff camp too. <laughs> Almost. Not quite. Um, but yeah, so they're able to clear buffs. If you place all three spiders um, at a single camp, they'll get to it beforehand. Um, so really quick, let's get into some items that Arachne utilizes very well. Um, Manicot Scepter is a great item on Arachne just because the basic attack damage is increased. And you're also, um, at the beginning of the game, using your basic attacks and your threes to chase people down, you're able to get some pretty early game kills with something like Manicot Scepter. Um, Plus, late game, it really, really helps because Arachne falls off late game more than other gods because as everyone gets a little bit tankier, a little bit beefier, the CC is up, the, the cooldowns are up, Arachne has a harder time sticking to certain people. She'll get ganked by a bunch of people and everything like that. So getting something like Mannequin Hidden Blade late game will help you engage on somebody because you can basically turn into a, hey, I might die, but I'm taking somebody with me person where you are just starting a game. And if, if you get hit mannequin hidden blade, which I'll, sh I'll just show you mannequin hidden blades passive is if you have not taken or dealt damage in the last five seconds and you hit an enemy God jungle monster, jungle boss, they immediately take 20% of their current health as physical damage and are slowed by 20 seconds for five seconds. You can basically start a fight by alting. <laughs> Because you're going to get this mannequin hidden blade prot. You see it here? And then you can start a fight like this. Look at all that damage just from landing on them, right? So mannequin hidden blade is really great just for like that engage tool late game. Um, it kind of makes Arachne somewhat useful um, in like those those team fights or maybe trying to pick somebody off a late game. You're able to do a ton of damage to squishies. Um, get maybe like a kill on them and at least take somebody with you. Um, like their major, their ADC or something like that before a fight starts or while a fight starts. Um, so it's good. And then Manicin Mace isn't bad on her either. Still getting that basic attack damage of plus 50 for her. You're getting the extra burn damage and stuff. Um, and then you have people getting their attack speed slowed and everything like that. So Mannequins is just a really great starter. Um, the only other starter I would recommend on her, I mean, I guess you could do two other ones. Um, this would be okay because it does do basic attack damage. Um, but only in the sense of like if you're going to go crit, right? Um, so if you're going to go crit, you can do like a, an, an arrow like this or something like that. I don't see this on her as often. Um, and then you can also do Eye of the Jungle. You know, Eye of the Jungle is pretty simple. It'll give you some protections at the end if you do um, uh, the Protector of the Jungle. So that can keep, maybe keep you alive late game a little bit more. Plus you get the 35% attack speed, which is good for you. Arachne likes attack speed obviously because she's a basic attacker um but i personally like going mana conceptor and so what you'll do is mana conceptor and golden blade right away the other thing you want to do with arachne because she has trouble clearing camps by herself um because she's only like a single auto attacker if you get golden blade you'll see see all those 84 ticks like on the second monster there that's golden blade working so golden blade's passive 
is all basic attacks will also hit enemies within a 15 unit radius of the target for 50% of the damage. So when you're clearing camps and things like that, um, so it's God's minions are camps. Anybody within a 15 unit radius will also take 50%. So you're doing extra basic damage. So even though I'm attacking the one, you can see 87, 87, it's killing the side ones, even though I was targeting the main one, right? So this is the basics of Golden Blade, and it, it helps Arachne clear the jungle way faster. Way, 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 way faster. Um, so really quick, let me sell this. We'll just get the mannequin. This right here will help you clear real fast, because Mannequin Scepter is going to apply the burn to targets and camps, and Golden Blade is going to help you target multiple monsters. So you basically go, you're going to attack the big one, you're applying the extra damage to the other ones there. Okay, camp's cleared. I'm, I'm off to my next camp. I come to the next camp. I'm clearing these. All right, here we go. All right, next camp, right? Damage camp, same thing. You can use your spiders to help clear if you want. But really, once you have these two items, you should be able to clear pretty effectively by yourself. Um, and just come up. You're going to attack the main one. And you're good to go. So this is how you get clear with Arachne. And you build these two items first to farm the crap in conquest like the crap out of conquest right once you have these two items a, another good item to go right after um either second or third i like going it second um because you get a pretty good power spike is serrated edge the reason this item synergizes with arachne's kit so well is because if you read as passive for every non-ability ultimate ability so arachne's one two or three on cooldown you gain a stack of cruelty each stack provides eight physical power and three percent more physical lifesteal arachne's kit you almost always use her three, two, and one right off the bat. So if you have this item and you're able to three, two, one, all these are now down. So you're getting a full three stack of cruelty here. So you're getting all of that extra damage, all of that extra life steal. You're and you're actually utilizing the uh, the one weakness Rekney has, which is you kind of burst all this at once. And once it's down, like, what do you do for the next 10 seconds until it comes back up, right? Well, you're getting the stacks of cruelty on Serrated Edge. So you can see every time I use an ability here, you can see her attack going up, right? Now it's at 89. Um, and so you'll see her, uh, like, her basic attack and her power just start increasing as all of these are on cooldown. And as they come off cooldown, you'll see this 81, 73, yep. So now it all goes down and it goes away, right? Um, you're also getting that increased life steal. So as you pop your one, it's doing more healing per tick for you and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it's a very good item on Arachne. Plus, the biggest part about this is the 20% physical penetration. This gives you physical penetration against tanks early. Um, so you're able to do a lot of damage, really start getting through some of those protections that like a solo lane might have built by now. They'll probably have a full physical item or two online. Um, so you'll still be able to gank like solo lane with a build like this and still do a lot of damage to them. Um, the next thing, this is where you can kind of branch out from here. Um, there are a lot of ways to build Arachne. I personally think these three items are the core that you almost always have on them. Uh, either a mannequin or, um, like I said, the diamond arrow, anything that does the basic attack damage diamond arrow if you're gonna go crit but honestly i think mannequins like first pretty much almost always um is the best starter on arachne and then you're gonna go golden blade and then serrated edge so th this is kind of like her bread and butter here and now you can either choose to go crit or like a kin size penetration build on her you can do a lot of things here i personally like adding crit into the build um it makes one-on-one -on -one a lot easier you already have a 20 percent pen from serrated edge so if you add something like atalanta's bow or if you you do the wind demon normally i would go like the wind demon or the shuriken here if you're versing somebody like a soul um somebody like olo run uh somebody that has uh, even anubis and you go shadow steel here you will still be able to sometimes out trade them like straight up just with a build like this because you're able to just nix that healing they're not able to heal very much with every crit they're not able to heal for those couple seconds, right? Um, so yeah, so for 10 seconds, if you hit a crit, which with one item, sometimes it's hard to hit that crit, but they're getting that 40% reduction in there. Um, and then once you get something like Atalanta's Bow, if I if I did go Shadow Steel, I normally go Atalanta's Bow next. Um, and this is just to get that crit online. It's gonna atta add attack speed. It's gonna add more physical life steal on top of the Serrated Edge, right? Um, and then it's going to increase your physical strike chance to the point where you're able to kind of go up there, 
and um, really just go to town on these guys. You press all your items, right? He's not really able to heal as much. You're good to go. And you have enough crit that it'll happen every now and then. You're not really getting crit for the crits. You're kind of getting it more for the utilization of, like, the anti-heal at this point. Um, between the Atalanta's bow and the, the Shadow Steel Shuriken if you need the anti-heal. Um, other things that you can do is if they don't have a ton of healing, which most gods do nowadays. Um, you can do, like, a Wind Demon uh, Atalanta's bow. This will increase your penetration for crits and your attack speed and your movement speed really great chase down tool you're almost like unstoppable with something like this you're able to just chase people down um when you get the crits you move so fast you're able to like literally skirt around them it's another thing when you're playing arachne uh one of the great things is if you're doing this and you're going like this and people are trying to hit you with abilities like it's going to be really hard to hit you if you're literally circling them like that um because Ymir freezes, like those sorts of things, they'll miss if you're doing this. If you're just like strafing around them the whole time. Like this is how you play Arachne. Because their webs are everywhere. You're moving so freaking fast. They don't know what to do with it. So you're basically coming around them, strafing around them. Arachne is a great 1v1 god. You'll normally heal through any damage that you're taking with items like this. With uh, Serrated and its stacks. And then you get something like Atalanta's Bow on top of it. Adding a little bit extra healing onto your one. You'll be good to go. Um, so yeah. Um, I also see things like Hydra's Lament used. Um, so Hydra's will give you extra physical pen. Plus some cooldown on your abilities. Um, and 40 physical power. And its passive goes really well. Because Arachne is using an ability. And then basic attacking right afterwards. So I've seen builds like this. Um, where you'll put a Hydra's in there somewhere. Sometimes they put it after Serrated. Sometimes they'll put it after like the crit or something, or if they're going crit. But um, basically for eight seconds after using an ability, your next basic attack will deal an additional 35% damage. So if you're stacking this with something like uh, Mannequins, where you're doing the basic attack damage, right? And you do something like this, you'll see Hydra's for six seconds, and then you get a big chunk out of them when you use an ability. So I'll show you real quick. Um, so I'll use my one. There we go. You can see the Hydra's proccing right afterwards, right? Do it again. Some huge numbers. Being able to chunk somebody with the Hydra's proc right there. There's the Hydra's proc, that 322. So you're good to go with like something like Hydra's. You're getting extra penetration. You're um, getting some cooldown on your ability. So you're able to like do another rotation really quick. Hydra's is a pretty good item on her. Um, and it'll give her some power. If you don't want to go with something like Hydra's, you can always get like a Deathbring or something to make your crit more. Um, you can do something like Stone Cutting, get a lot of physical power, more movement speed, decreasing some physical protections. Um, I've seen Kin Size even built at the end of this. You're kind of well rounded with a build like this. You're doing some crit, you have some penetration, and you're also getting the Kin Size passive, right? Which is um, just melting health away. So I've seen uh, builds like this as well, too, with Arachne. Um, and it's adding auto attacks to it, right? Um, I've also seen builds like this. If you're not going to do um, this, you can still build things like, um, let's see, like it would be like an Ichaval, maybe like an Executioner and a Kin Size. So this is basically like your pen attack speed build that you build on Arachne. And with the Glyphs now, um, you'd probably get the Ferocious one which with Executioner, which is your next basic attack. So not only every time you basic attack are you reducing physical protections by 7% with a max of 4 stacks. So you're going to add that to the 20% you have with uh, the Serrated Edge. But your next basic attack, once you get the Glyph, marks an enemy for 8 seconds. If you hit the marked enemy or the marked enemy hits you with a basic attack or ability, you gain 1 stack. Each stack provides 2% increased damage towards the marked enemy. Stacking up to 10 times. This is pretty freaking crazy on Arachne um, with a build like this. So you're basically going like full attack speed. You're just doing a ton of damage to them with this Executioner Glyph. Um, and it's pretty cool because nothing else Arachne builds kind of has like those glyphs to it. She's not building Jotuns or anything like that. So getting an Executioner with this Glyph is great on her. You can see all of this extra damage that I'm doing um, with that Glyph. Although it does go on a cooldown, right? Um, so I think it's like it can only occur once every 30 seconds. But you're normally coming in, engaging, killing somebody real quick, and then leaving. Um, so let me do this. I'll show you what like a full build looks like with her. We'll get the mannequin hidden blade, um, which is, it, it doesn't give you the basic attack damage, but it just gives you that, um, a lot of power 
and everything like that. We don't have to do that anymore. We'll go in. We'll use the uh, the old tactic. Boom, dead. Like pretty simple, right? Um, you might actually want to get mannequin uh, mace, the fifty percent, uh, fifty basic attack damage, if you're gonna pair it with like this glyph, the ferocious executioner. Um, like I said before, you kind of want to engage with your ultimate or something like that if you have mannequin mace because then you get that huge chunk of damage taken with the mannequin hidden blade uh, passive there. So every five seconds that'll reset. And I'm just showing you guys a few ways to play her because I've played her a freaking ton. Oop, I did not want to change team. Um, I know these are some extra just tips and tricks and stuff for you guys, uh, but I'm just trying to show you like how I do it, how I engage man i have not gone to the reset cooldown like three times now uh let's go here so we're going to engage with mannequin hidden blade that's up do this three two one she he dead that's normally how you would like engage on a kill with your ultimate up and with mannequin hidden blade sitting there um if you want to go the other way you can sell this you can grab this with ferocious executioner you don't need to engage with your alt as much um, with this because you have the basic attacks. You're just doing a ton of damage with your basic attacks. Um, it is a little bit more reliable because you can get like jumped on and still do a ton of damage to people. Your mannequin hidden blade is more of like you're surprising the target instead of the target surprising you. So the target surprises you if you're sitting there and you get jumped on. Oh, you throw your spiders. You just do the two one and you you turn that fight on them really fast right um so yeah so this is a good build with her like i said the the two crit items in akins is good the two crit items even like the executioner like so if you wanted to whoop let's get this we'll sell this and get um uh we'll get these two like so, something like this is fine too obviously not the same build order um but that executioner's glyph does a lot of work here and then you can actually even because you have executioners get the shadow steel um because you're getting the extra pen from here plus you're getting the serrated edge um and then you're getting the crit from these two you're going to do anti-heal you're going to be able to pen through anybody like you're going to do a lot of damage with like these types of things and these types of builds people won't be able to heal through you so if you're versing somebody that has a ton of healing that's good at 1v1ing like soul um, who will build like Bancroft's Town and Ring of Hakate and be autoing you like you can sometimes like even out auto them right just in a 1v1 up in their face um, so yeah that's Arachne guys uh, one of my favorite just like brain dead getting a jungle like <laughs> you're getting a conquest game you need a jungle I'm just gonna be Arachne and just run at people and hold left click that's that's basically what she does the best right and just choosing your moments on uh when to engage and stuff you'll learn a little bit over time but um yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys haven't already we uh run a discord um and we teach people how to play conquest and we all play together and stuff so that link will be down at the bottom below click that link come join our discord it's called the smite dojo uh we teach people how to play smite we play with each other we play like the game modes of the day we play arena joust conquest all of it so feel free to join uh hang out with the community and just play some smite with us uh we're super like new player friendly so don't worry about like not being good or anything like that the purpose of this uh, these videos are the purpose of our discord and everything like that is basically to help new players learn the game feel comfortable playing with others um, it's okay if you suck or if you lose or whatever like we were all there at one point right you got to play the game to learn more about it you got to play more to uh, get better at it too so we understand like hey let's just play some games um, you can play to be learning you can play to have fun you can do meme builds together whatever it is we're really super relaxed and and we're just a really non-toxic environment so come join us and then also if you haven't like and subscribe this video um if you subscribe to me i will be putting out more god guides until i get through every single god in smite um so stay tuned to see more of them um also we do um 
other videos in relation to Smite. So we'll do Conquest one-on-one -on -one videos, explain what roles are and kind of how to do that, how to farm in Conquest. We're also going to be doing an item build video here shortly. So um, it'll be a long video. Uh, it's normally like two hours long, but we'll put chapters in there so you guys can go to which items um, you want to learn about. We're going to explain what the items do, how to build them, how they synergize with certain gods and other items in Smite. So we're really excited about that. I'm excited to do that video for you guys. And uh, thank you very much. And have a great day.